My name is Sam Gilliam. I'm an artist in Washington, D.C. I'm an artist that grew up around the Washington Art School. We had what was called a movement, but it was like a community movement through desire to do things. I decided to work with the canvas just as it was painted on the floor and work from the floor to the wall and also to work with uh, long lengths of canvas up to 75 feet. I guess today you'd say that we learned to think outside the box. Sam Gilliam was born in Tupelo, Mississippi to a Sam and Esther E. Gilliam on November 30th, 1933. Even as a child, he knew he wanted a life in the arts, claiming that he wanted to be a cartoonist when he grew up. He is most noted as being a colored field painter, which is a style of abstract painting that emerged in New York City during the 1940s and 50s. After starting a career in education, he decided he wanted to become a painter, creating works such as this, titled Spread, and this, titled Wide Narrow. These works were done in 1973 and 1972, respectively, and both were created with acrylic on canvas. Gilliam first began creating these pieces in the 1960s. This was a rise of the abstract expressionism movement alongside other prolific artists such as Jackson Pollock and Andy Warhol. He was one of the first artists to manipulate a canvas, breaking the two-dimensional scheme of her painting, which reformed conventional ideas of art. Even two-dimensional, hard-edged paintings such as these and this, titled Bursting, created in 1972, create a type of three-dimensional feel to them. This piece is 77 by 73 inches, with a width of two inches due to its bevel protruding out from the wall. This, along with the painting's ability to seem as if it has creases or folds, adds a sense of depth. This piece makes great use of the white space in that it highlights the bold color spatters surrounding it. The dominance of blue in this painting lends a serene feeling to an otherwise chaotic sequence of colors. It is a calm in the midst of a euphoric outburst. It is symbiotic with the yellows because of its ability to keep the spectator grounded. Sam Gilliam, A Retrospective, is a book as well as an exhibit created in 2005 in the Corcoran Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. This is where some of his draped canvases can be found, which stretch from wall to wall and are sometimes even located on the floor. When creating these works, Sam says that he likes to make use of the entire space, from the walls to the floors to even the ceiling. This piece, compared to the others featured in this video, exhibits a more muted series of colors. It seems that with the use of pastels, the focus is drawn away from the colors and more towards the art of draping. The next drape work by Sam Gilliam that I'd like to focus on is titled Street, created in 1970 with acrylic on canvas. The painting is 104 inches by 73 inches and hangs in Washington, D.C. Unlike the previous drape work, this focuses more on the colors rather than extending from wall to wall. It features only a single dip in the canvas, which draws your eyes towards the center and makes the colors pop. This work, also featured in the Corrigan Gallery in Washington, D.C., drapes from the ceiling. Gilliam forces the viewer in this piece to use their body to move all around the canvas. The drapes in this piece almost seem like flags, which may imply that art has no culture. The difference in lengths of each canvas allows for the mixture of colors without being on the same canvas. From each angle that you look at it, the art piece becomes a new one, viewing different colors and patterns. Although other artists create 3D works of art and sculptures that allow the viewer to walk around them, nobody does it quite like Gilliam. This piece is titled Leaf, which was created in 1970 with acrylic on canvas and is 130 inches by 160. Instead of draping inwards, this piece is pinned in the middle and causes it to drape outward, which allows the spectator's view to trail off to the sides instead of being focused on the center. The creases outward mimic the veins on a leaf. That, coupled with its earthy undertones, probably earned it its title. Made in 2013, this is the most recent work featured in this series created by Sam Gilliam. It's titled Black in the Abstract, Part 1, Epistrophe. It is featured in contemporary art museums in Houston, Texas. This piece stands out from Gilliam's other pieces due to its lack of chaos. The shapes are very clean and monotone, all while still creating a sense of perspective and depth, almost as if the colors are coming at you. 
This may be classified as minimalism. Art is always about something extra, something outside, and that most art you find has that sort of spirit of being connected to something else.